Hello once again, it's Monster Forge with cheap crap I shouldn't have bought. Number six now. I'm making these things fairly consistently. I don't know what to think about that because between the one from three weeks ago and the one before that, there was a three year gap. So, yeah. This is about as consistent as I've ever been. Anyway, <clears throat> in this episode... We're going to see what I found at Dollar Tree today. Dollar Tree is uh, one of the best stores ever. They really need to change the title. It's no longer Dollar Tree. It's dollar and 25 cents plus some more in our plus section tree. But I digress. It's neither here nor there. It still costs dollars. So I guess it's Dollar Tree. And if the dollars are growing on trees like leaves, there's lots of dollars. But anyway, it's one of the cheapest places you can buy cheap crap. And I like cheap crap. So let's see what I found at Dollar Tree today. First off, I found these pins. These are really good drawing pins. I'm a drawer, so they've been getting these in from Journaling Ink. It's these microtip brush pens, and they're honestly pretty darn good pens. Um, yeah, I only got a crap piece of paper here. Um, but anyway, um, they've, these are surprisingly good, and... Uh, they're they're very brushy um it, it's a fine tip fine tip and um with with minimal effort you can really lay down some some nice lines um you can you can put down some pretty fine ones um and you can also put down some pretty thick ones it's all according to you know How, what kind of pressure you put on it, what kind of angle you put it at. Um, but you can you can do some really nice stuff with this. I, I found when I was inking some pencil um, with one of these pens. What do I have on here? Oh, yeah, this is a good example. Um, I, I found that when you're inking with this, you can really get super expressive with your your line work. And it's got a good ability to vary the line weight. And, uh, you know, I, I, I've, I've, in studying a lot of the comic book artists and the inkers that inked a lot of the comic book uh, pencilers over the years, a lot of them preferred to use brushes. And brushes are kind of messy. If you ever do any painting, you know, brushes are pretty messy. So um, having this is a really nice option to give your work some some painterly feel in the, the, the line weights and all um, without having a big mess. And, uh, of course, you know, you want to be very expressive whenever you're drawing. That's one of the things you're doing. You're... You're conveying emotion, and, and you know, when you're drawing uh, cartoons, you really want a lot of expression to come out. Um, but the good thing about these pens, too, is not only does it do thick line weights, it can also do pretty thin stuff, too. You just have to kind of control your hand when you're laying down lines, and you can, you can get some really good fine line work out of it um trying to talk while i'm drawing is interesting uh i don't usually do that i'm usually drawing right by myself so but uh yeah and you can you can fill in pretty well um a lot of black you know a lot of dark space there but um not not the pen that I would use for a lot of cross hatching because it it's it's not like a 
not like a technical pin where you can really have the control the thin line weight or anything but um you know with a little a little practice you probably can i haven't had a lot of practice with these but um yeah it's it's fun i, I didn't draw this with one of these this is just a, a piece of drawing paper that i had laying around i draw a lot but anyway, yeah, these are a dollar twenty-five at Dollar Tree, and they're really good pens. So I would definitely recommend them. It's it's my new favorite pen, kind of my go-to for inking cartoony type stuff. Um, yeah. Now well, let's see. Let's bring this down a little bit so that we can take a look at uh, some of the other stuff that I got. Uh, okay, um, I got this, I didn't even know it existed, um, you know, normally I open toys because I'm a big kid, but there's one line of toys that I rarely open, and that's Hot Wheels, because I just like the way they look in the package, but I couldn't resist this one, it's, uh, it's a piece of cake, it's a car, like a hot rod, and it's a piece of cake. Um, has the icing on top. It has the different layers in it, and looks almost like um, looks almost like a kind of like a sponge cake type thing, or maybe it's a I don't know, but it's got little uh, little holes painted into the cake, so like the air holes in cake. Uh, it has a fork. It runs through the cake. It's got a nice chromed out engine block with the exhaust pipes. And there's even a little uh, driver sculpted in there. Which, when I was a kid, if there was a Hot Wheels car and it had a driver sculpted in it, I was there, dude. Because I hated, you know, oh, this is the birthday burner. I never even looked at the title of it. And it's got a birthday cake logo up there. Um, let's see what it says. Uh, birthday burner, born 2023, El Segundo, California, designer Hot Wheels. Bakers start your engines fully, uh, fully hot rotted with an exposed engine. This supercharged slice of automotive ingenuity will have everyone craving the sweet taste of victory. And this is, oh, this is Hot Wheels Celebration Racers. Holiday themed vehicles that celebrate cultures, inclusiveness, and other festivities all year long. Um, I like it because it's food, and I like food vehicles, and I know that my buddy Eat More Toys, check out his channel on here, Eat More Toys, um, I'll put a link to his, his account in the description below, but, um, he loves food cars, too, um, oh, neat, it's like a, I guess it's sort of like a plate underneath it, cool. I like the inventive designs they come up with Hot Wheels, the fun cars, you know? Like, I'm I'm not that big about collecting the regular cars, but if the car is weird, kind of quirky, I want it. So, yeah, keep an eye out for the uh, birthday burner. It's a cool car. Um, let's see. What else did we get today? Oh, yeah. Uh, another not toy thing. Um... I always was a big Mega Man fan. I love Mega Man. And I just couldn't resist this for a buck twenty-five. It's a thing of G Fuel with Mega Man. It's a blue bomber slushy. You got Mega Man's face here. Mega Man firing his buster. Um Buster Cannon. Energy drink zero zero uh sugar. Uh extreme focus. I think G Fuel is supposed to be the one that helps you play video games or whatever. Well, seeing as how I don't play video games much. Um, but I can use a little energy whenever I'm working. Um, yeah, it's licensed from Capcom. Uh, contains natural and artificial flavors. Oh boy, 16 ounces. Uh, oh, here's the warnings. This is always fun whenever you're looking at uh, energy drinks. Warning, too much caffeine may cause sleeplessness, not if you have ADD, irritability, 
um, nervousness and possibly rapid heartbeat not recommended for use by individuals under the age of 18. One serving of G Fuel provides 300 milligrams of caffeine, which is more than two cups of coffee. <laughs> I regularly drink more than two cups of coffee. Uh, some vitamins are likely to degrade at the time of manufacturing. That's nice to know. Uh, do not use this product if you are pregnant or nursing. Neither one for me. Do not consume this product if you have any medical condition and or are taking any prescription drug. So you have to be in tip-top health to take this stuff. Because um, it says any medical condition. Well, I have a slight cough. Don't take this stuff. Um, but you know what they're saying. Um, oh, let's see. Um, uh, the product contains caffeine and should not be used with any other products containing caffeine. This product is intended for use by healthy individuals only. User of this product assumes all liability if used in a manner not consistent with label guidelines. You must follow the guidelines. Um, did you know that energy drinks can thicken your blood? That's pretty cool. Anyway, so I, I, I just mainly got it because it's got Ultraman on it and it looks cool. I like the blue package. They had a bunch of other ones with like generic looking quote-unquote video game characters. Um, so, the next thing I got here, just, I thought these were fun, and they're $1.25, and I'm like, these are pretty cool figures. It's the Adventure Squad. It's the Adventure Squad. Um, got all these guys in here. All right. Adventure Squad. I guess it's their take on, um, like those rescue heroes or whatever they are. The big chunky characters that rescue people. Uh, this is like, I don't know if this is their line to replace. Like, it's not, I don't think it's, it's connected with, but, you know, if, if you know anything about toys and, um, and Dollar Tree, you'll know that, um, for the past, few years they've been putting out the um final faction figures which are like sort of like futuristic gi joe type figures they're like three and three fourth inch so about the size of a star wars figure um you know what i never have star wars figures around whenever i'm doing these videos um well close to that would be the the four horsemen um um this is one of the Power Lords figures that the Four Horsemen put out way back when. I, two, 2010, 12, something. Um, yeah, these wouldn't have a date on them. Anyway, um, this is about the size of a Star Wars figure. But these guys are bigger. So, you know, if you wanted to have them with your Star Wars figures or your G.I. Joe, you know, the smaller G.I. Joes or any other three and three fourth inch figures, they're going to tower over them. Um, probably closer to, uh, let's see, um, like G.I., G. Uh, not G.I. Joes, but like um, Marvel Legends. No, nah, they're kind of, they're not quite the size of Marvel Legends figures. Um, I don't know. Maybe standing on their own? Maybe? Um, here's one of the vintage Power Lords figures. No, he's taller than him. So anyway, these figures are... Let me just go ahead and measure them. Um, they are roughly... Roughly f about five inches about five inches tall and what's cool is like they're just they're just strapped to the package there's no bubble um no bubble whatsoever they're just there like their accessories are dangling and i didn't even bother to check like i grabbed them i didn't bother to check to see if they all had their accessories they do i'm looking at them now and they do but um let's start with manuel Hola. It's Manuel. 
And um, let's see. Of course, I don't have my clippers anywhere near. Yeah, I do. I got my clippers right here. Screw clippers. And let's free Manuel from the bonds of plastic strips. Um, and this is this is Manuel. These are I, I like the design on these guys. They're very you know very stylized. Um, uh, let's see. He's a handsome guy. Check out that cool stash. Um, it's articulated at the neck, just a cut joint. The shoulders. Uh, no wrist, no um, elbow, um, and uh, cut joints swivels at the the hips um but yeah pretty cool um what's the the little copyright stuff on here let me see oh, uh, um can't really read it anyway doesn't matter um he comes with looks like a, a first aid kit so i'm assuming he's like a a paramedic type of guy um, holds it really well. Um, let me bring this down so we can have it at, at eye level with this guy. One thing. That could have been done a lot smoother. Anyway, um, yeah. Very cool. I like the colors. The paint's really good on it. Like, it's not a lot of bleeding or anything like that. Oh, cool. So he's got like a badge right here. Which I guess, do they all have a badge like that? Don't know yet. I'll check in a minute. Uh, yeah, actually, I see some of them do. Um, I like the robotic arm or armor or whatever. But what's cool is he's got like a little pouch thing right here. A metal pouch. He's got like little um, mechanical details here. And he's got a heart monitor. So he's a paramedic guy. Let's see what it says about him. Manuel. Um... Skills, emergency medical services, he is EMS. Tool of choice, rescue pack. Special ability, wrapped restore. What? I'm not sure what wrapped restore. Maybe, the, is that like a term for, like, um, I don't know, like dressing a wound or something like that? I don't know, my, my, my lack of, my lack of uh, knowledge about that is showing. Uh, collect the entire squad and let the adventure begin. So, that's our first adventure squad guy that we looked at, Manuel. Um, let's see. I should I should have gone ladies first. I'm totally not a gentleman right now. Um, but we'll take a look at Marina. Um, and her gear. Each one of them comes with, you know, like the rest of them come with one accessory she has two because it's flippers for swimming uh includes oh okay they have all right manuel includes rescue pack she includes speed swim fins and let's take a look at her um marina skills deep sea rescue tool of choice speed swim fins special ability deep dive cool so let's see marina hello marina uh, she's, oh, she's just as tall as Manuel, so there's not like a, a difference. You know, a lot of times the toy lines will have the, the, the female characters, the lady characters will be shorter, but um, she's just about as tall as him. It's a good sculpt. Got a nice. She's got her hair done in um, like cornrow type or braids. Um. Oh, cool. She's got, I don't know whether these are lights or like jets. Oh, it's like little jets on her arms. She's got her, um, I guess it's like a breather pack. Well, she needs a helmet or a breather or something. Maybe she just holds her breath really well. She got some big old hips. Not much in the trunk, but she's got big hips. And, um, oh, she's got little fins on the backs of her feet. Is there a particular way? No, I guess not. Um, 
there you go. She's got her speed swim fins. That's right. Jeans. But yeah, she's she's cool too. I like her colors a lot. Um, I like the the yellow and the blue and her brown skin contrasts that really well. Nice. So that's our our first two. Let's see. We'll go with Freddy. Freddy includes firefighter chief axe. Well, it's very specifically the chief axe, and um, don't you don't you get it wrong. Uh, let's see. Throw these things away here. All right, let's take a look. Freddy skills fire control tool of choice the firefighter chief x and his special ability is the tidal wave wait a minute her skill should be the tidal wave too i don't know tidal wave anyway this is freddy freddy's cool he's got a sweet beard oh it looks like maybe he's bald under there um did you know that Thick beards and thin hair on top indicate an uh, overabundance of testosterone. Yeah, bro. Uh, he's got a cool robot arm. Oh, ah, uh, dude. All the Warhammer fans are going to be really happy because they drilled out the barrels. Came with drilled out barrels. Not a noob. Anyway, um, he's got... He's got the... Firefighter Chief Axe. Ooh. He's cool. And once again, same articulation. Head, shoulders, knees, and um, hips. So five points of articulation. These are nice, chunky figures. That's one thing I like about them. I like the design on these guys. Um, lots of little details and stuff. If you got kids, they're going to love these things. And they should be fairly safe. They say that they're three and up on these, so... I guess they're not very easy to pull apart. Looks like they've got, yeah, they got screws holding them together. So I wonder if it's the triangle. Because a lot of times, a lot of times with the, the, the cheapo, like Happy Meal toys, they'll have the little triangle bit in there. I know this because I've taken a lot of those toys apart to make custom figures. But I uh, know it appears to be a Phillips. Okay, I can read on him. Uh, four star group incorporated made in China uh, and it's just got a bunch of like serial code numbers um, you know what I don't see the same little symbol on him the little star symbol he's got a different symbol on his hat so he doesn't have the 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 the, the little uh asterisk sign looking thing like he has and does she have oh no 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 she doesn't either so it's just this guy oh you, i'm i'm pretty stupid that's the medical symbol um it's not a caduceus but it's the yeah you know what i'm talking about the medical thing anyway they each have a different symbol all right well let's take a look at um um marshall marshall is Marshall includes the long arm of the law. You know what? You know what these really... It just finally hit me what these guys kind of remind me of. Um, they, they remind me of cops. Um, that line from back in the 80s. That um, Bart Sears designed the characters for it. But it was like fighting crime in a future time. They kind of remind me of that, specifically this guy, because the 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 main the main guy BP Vest in um, um, Cops. He was a big um, he was a big black dude that had like the like the cyborg chest and everything, but like he was the main cop and. This guy kind of reminds me of him, but he also reminds me of, there was a character called Longarm, and Longarm was like, I want to say he was like a beat cop, you know, like that typical beat cop from back in the day that you always saw, he had the blue uniform and all, and he had this thing, it was like, um, he had a gun or a thing he wore on his wrist that fired out this big handcuff that would go and get people, 
And um, that's what this guy reminds me of. He's really cool. This this guy might be my favorite out of the group. Like, I love how happy he is. Got the big grin on his face. Like, ah. He kind of reminds me of Ray Charles, too. I don't know why, but he does. Oh, he's actually got... He's got hair they didn't color. Oh, well, I mean, it's a, this thing was $1.25. You can't expect it to have all the paint apps in the world. But, yeah, he's got the police symbol. I'm a dummy. Um... But yeah, he's got like, you know, that fits perfectly on the other guys. What, is he running around arresting the members of the Adventure Squad? Oh, anyway. Oh, cool. He's got like a police light on his shoulder. And, um, cool. He's kind of like a combination of, um, the cops guys and Judge Dredd. There's just something about the big shoulder pads that remind me of Judge Dredd. But anyway, he has like the, the, the old-fashioned police hat. Let's see what it says. Um, martial, skills, crime fighting, tool of choice, the long arm of the law. Special ability, catch em cuff. That's, that's cool. So, yeah, this is the um, Adventure Squad. And let's see. Everybody's got all their gear. Pretty cool set. Um, I like them. I like the stylized nature of them and all that. So yeah, this is the 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 squad here. Or, let me do this. The squad. Miss Marina. Miguel. Or was his name Miguel? Was Miguel? Wasn't it? Yeah, Miguel. Uh, Freddy. Freddy the firefighter. <laughs> And marshal the police marshal, I guess. There we go. That's the that's the adventure squad. Pretty cool, if 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 I must say so myself. Um, yeah, neat. The kids are gonna love these. All right, one one last thing. Where did I put it? Oh yeah. One last thing. It. Blind package time again. All right, you know the drill on these. Um, da, 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 da. I would like to get a different Batman. I'd like to get a different Batman. Oh, what do we got? Oh, well, at least it's a different one. I guess it's, um, I don't know if it's Wonder Woman or not. It's not Supergirl. Let's see. Who is it? Oh, Hologram Blue Wonder Woman. Okay. Yeah, so it is Wonder Woman. Yeah, I see the lasso now. So, Hologram Blue Wonder Woman. Um, be really cool to get a different Batman. Uh. Oh, ah, heck yeah. That's perfect. That's the Batman I wanted. Or another Batman. As long as it's Batman. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My cat's going nuts. Every night. About this time. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, another Bizarro. Is it? Yep, another Bizarro. Oh, anyway, that's what I got. More cheap crap I shouldn't have bought. Uh, until next time, Monster Forge. Oh, God.